Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers knockoff review. In today's video we're taking a look at the latest offering from Black Mamba aka AI Mech. This is the Deformation LS10S Storm Pioneer Diecast Metal Transformation. This is basically the Black Mamba oversized repainted version of Studio Series Brawl done in his deep desert camo colors uh, quick look around the box we've got brawl on the front we've got uh, some text on the side and we've got brawl on the back and he comes packaged in a big plastic clamshell and here we have him out of his plastic prison balanced precariously on my turntable it really is too small to have him on there uh, as you can see i haven't uh, kind of maneuvered his back cannons as they should be but he's kind of just balanced on there had to lift his toes slightly so they don't touch the outer edge of the turntable uh, but all in all he's a decent looking figure now brawl was in transformers 2007 he was also in it as Devastator, I think he was referred to at one point, which may have been his clone, and if there was two of them. I personally call this uh, Sandstorm. I'm basing it on the, is it the Battle Gaia combination. And uh, yeah, I like to call this one Sandstorm anyway, but uh, either way, I think Brawl was only in the one movie. I kept thinking that uh, he was in Revenge of the Fallen for so long, but it was just like Grinder and uh, Starscream, and of course uh, the Devastator. The Constructicons were in there a few different times. I think they were formed Devastator, and then they had their similar clones kind of fighting the Autobots in the desert at the same time. But Brawl was only in the 2007 movie. It was wasn't until the Revenge of the Fallen line that we actually got a repaint, and then it had the kind of uh, spark energy sort of bits. On him as well but yeah this is this is deep desert brawl he's a good looking figure uh, under the black mamba banner again i think it's just because the original was released under the black mamba i don't want to uh, be known to be aoa mech as well <laughs> even though the uh, artwork and wording etc suggests otherwise but all in all he's a nice looking figure here he is with his brother in arms see i have these as two separate characters I've uh, switched the knives out and the guns for different arms. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm having him. I'm having him as a separate character. I just realized I haven't popped his chest panel open, haven't I, and put the uh, tracks back on. I haven't transformed him properly. He's kind of as he comes out of the box there. But uh, to complete the look, we want to just bring this section forwards and then the tracks come up and tilt off to the side. There we go. That should cheer people up. That's... Uh, Bit better have these angled up have that chest out absolutely adore the sculpt on brawl really nice uh, of course still got the same gold accents as the uh, first version may even do a little bit of dry brushing on this one myself uh, we're locked in still for a little while aren't we so it might give me something to do it's that sort of character that i think would warrant the dry brushing because he's done in this kind of desert camo look he's already got some kind of smoked tips to his cannons so why not uh, do the rest of him as well getting up close and personal with that head sculpt really loving how that looks it's a good good look for brawl i think it's just on a rotation there's no real up and down in there Which is a shame, but of course it is just an oversized version of the Studio Series. Really, really funky looking chap. If this is your first time looking at this mould, uh, the head can look left and right. Like I said, no real up and down motion in there. I don't want to be pulling that up in case there's just a peg underneath and it snaps. Uh, we do have these cannon pieces on the shoulder, which can come all the way up to clear the shoulders. We then have rotation in there. We have friction up and down. 
We have a friction joint mushroom peg on the upper bicep. We have an outwards and inwards, a little bit of sideways elbow action there. We have another friction joint uh, kind of on that elbow piece. We have a mushroom peg on the wrist so we can rotate it. We have a bend on these fingers coming down to the waist. There is a waist rotation, albeit very limited by the backpack. The legs can come this far forwards on a ratchet, that far back on a ratchet, out to the side on a friction joint, very kind of loose when you get all the way up to the top of the high kick there. There is a, there's an upper thigh rotation. There's a bend on that knee. Yeah, this has come disengaged, doesn't it? And coming down to the feet, we have up and down on those toes as well as a nice little pivot outwards so we can get a fairly decent stance. So we could have them kind of looking pretty dynamic there when you've got the likes of Ironhide, Ratchet and Bumblebee all trying to take him out. And for those of you out there that opted to keep your MPM, Optimus Prime, and didn't go oversized, personally I think these scale remarkably well. I think that's pretty much the scale that it should be. I think they look exceptionally Good together. And here we have him alongside some of the Studio Series characters as well to give you an idea of how he fares. He's a big, big boy, isn't he? Now, as gorgeous as Brawl is, he does, of course, transform. Let's get him changed up into his tank mode. Starting off the back of these wheels, we're going to untab this piece here. This piece here is going to come up. And uh, this hinge is ball mounted. It's going to rotate. And as we rotate it, you can actually rotate the inner ball mount as well. So you want to aim for the ball to come around like this. And that's going to swing, push, and tab into the back of those legs. There's a tab just in behind Brawl's head. Push that, and that disengages this chest panel piece. Untab these sections from the chest, and then we should be able to just bring this chest piece forward. That now allows us to straighten up those tank treads like this. These armor pieces are gonna come all the way back down. They're gonna push into the back. And again on this side, bring this all the way back down. Lift these up and those are gonna push and locate in the back like so. And to have his shoulder sections so that this whole piece here can move and drop allowing for this panel to rotate all the way around. And then looking on the inside of the ball, just pop this panel piece up so it sits flush. These panel pieces fold inwards and fold inwards. And at this point, I realized that we've got LED lights. I completely forgot he's got little LED buttons on the back of his head. Anyway, I'm digressing. Uh, these pits here are going to go flat. And if you look, we've got sliders here, allowing this to come all the way up so it's level with the front. Fold the head backwards into this void. And then this section here is going to come up like so. Come around to his big, sharp, pointy feet. Rotate these inwards. This is going to come all the way around to the back. This is then going to push through and come into the center. Now this does get a little bit complex just because of the sheer size of this thing, uh, but you need to bring these sections out. And uh, if you look here, we've got uh, a folding panel here. Uh, this is gonna fold upwards. Uh, these are gonna come out. Uh, right, there we go, let's rotate that around. This is going to flip. Rotate and flip so that this comes around to the front. Move the back piece up like so, which allows this to come around. And if we look at this arm piece here, it comes into the center like so, and everything's gonna kind of line up hunky-dory when we bring this piece down like this. And this is gonna come down. And it's just a matter of me tabbing all of these sections in now as well. So see we have the front panel of the tank 
which is going to come around and around like so and if we look just underneath that tread there is a tab which is going to line up with the wheel there we go that's going to push and tab in and then rotate this piece around like so that's then going to come down to the front bend up like so come into the groove and slide and i've just tabbed those last few sections in and there we go there is brawl uh, deep desert camo we do have some rotation on the top here to kind of make sure that the uh, sections kind of move independently and this section here kind of moves as well still it's not brilliant uh, the way that these just tuck in on the underside there maybe i've done that wrong i don't know possibly uh, but that is deep desert camo brawl. I mean, he does look sensational. I don't have hundreds of different uh, figures to compare him to, not to hand anyway, but I do have an alternative review of the original Black Mamba brawl. Where I've done a few comparisons. I'll include a link to that at the end of this video. But here he is alongside MP10 anyway, to give you an idea. He is a big, beefy looking figure. I'm definitely going to keep him as well as brawl. I think I will label this one as Sandstorm. I'm happy to go with that or maybe devastator either or i think they will work together as a team trying to destroy the autobots and uh, do like the kind of patchwork camo that we've got going on uh, it's still a bit of a mess to transform in that centerpiece so once you do it having it in hand doing it is fairly easy you just need to know where they go and how they get there it's just because it's so big there's a lot getting in the way I never really had that problem with the Studio Series version, but now that they've kind of oversized it, it's just a lot to try and handle, especially when you've got a camera poised between your legs trying to get everything in shot. Because uh, heaven forbid I should miss anything out, because you guys are the first to let me know. I do try. I do try. I'm just uh, not always uh, as good as I would like to be. Thanks again to TF Direct for making this review possible. I have included a link in the description below where it can be purchased. And again, please make sure you check out that Black Mamba Brawl review, just uh, so you can see those extra comparison shots uh, from myself and the Deep Desert Brawl by Black Mamba. Until next time, uh, goodbye.